today I'm going to be sharing with you my winter favorites for the last couple months because I've been repeatedly using the same things over and over so it wouldn't really be an interesting video if I made like favorite of December and then favorites of January and November they were all kind of the same so here they are. I'm going to start off with my favorite coat. These are going to be all like clothing items at first. My favorite coat this winter that I wore the most is probably this one right here. I have a whole bunch of coats. I love wearing coats, but this one I wore the most. It's a black and white kind of like plaid coat. This was actually from Forever 21 from like two years ago, and it's really heavy and warm, and I love it, and I wore it a lot. Um, just by putting on that coat and like putting the little belt on, whether I have jeans or whatever underneath, if I have a pair of boots on, it looks really fancy. And if my hair's up in a bun like on top, I look uber, uber luxurious or something. I don't know, like I look really dressed up with this if I do have that on. And I can't find my scarf. I wore it. I wore the same scarf all winter long. It was a silver one that I showed, or gray one, that I showed in my fall favorites. And it's probably in my car. That was the only scarf that I wore all winter. And for headgear, this is the only one that I went for. It's like a little, um, it's a beanie. It's a pink, it's like a rose beanie. And it has little pink crystals on it too. I don't know where I got this from. It's a couple years old, but this was the first winter that I actually wore it in. And I thought it was pretty cute. And for sweaters to keep warm, this was one of my favorites. It's like a dirty kind of muted um, purple and there's silver glitter on here and I love this sweater because the back is actually sheer and it's just cloth but I mean I wear it with a tank top or something and it looks really pretty I just love this color and my favorite nail polish actually is this color too right now and this was one of my favorites too this sweater that I'm wearing right now and it's just a plain cream sweater, long sleeves obviously, and it has like a little pearl um, design right here on the collar. And it's so simple, but so elegant at the same time. Like just by putting this on with some jeans, I look really chic. Like I look done. Like I spent time dressing up or whatever. And even if my hair is in a messy bun, like I look dressy. Just like with this coat, this coat right here. The sweater is one of those like just by wearing this alone. Your, my whole outfit just looked done up. And my favorite pair of pants this, I was gonna say this summer, this winter, were these. And my hubby knows, every time I go out, I'm like, oh, let me get my black and gold. And I love these. It's like a, kind of like a damask print. And, um, oh, I forgot to mention, this sweater and uh, these pants, they're actually from JCPenney. And I got them for super cheap. Like, this was 16 and these pants were only like 14 or so. I don't know, but I love them and they look really hot. Um, with anything just plain on top, I'd just put on like, even if my whole outfit's just plain black, if I have these on. It's one of those like statement pieces. Like all my favorites were just, if I have that on with like leggings or if I have something on with just, I don't know, like they just made the outfit, these items that I picked right here. And, out of all the accessories, I only really wore one. I don't like to wear a lot of accessories during the winter because metal feels cold against my skin and I don't like that feeling. This was one bracelet that I wore a lot. And it's just a black and white and gold bracelet from Forever 21. It's so simple, but it goes with a lot of stuff and it looks nice. Like, it looks nice and chic, you know? And it hasn't broken yet. Most of my Forever 21 stuff break like in a heartbeat. If it drops on the floor, the screw's gonna pop out and it breaks. But, I mean, I hope this lasts longer. I don't actually want this to break. I don't want any of my stuff to break, but it just happens. Like when you buy cheap stuff from Forever 21, they break. And this was only like $6. And I really like it. It's made pretty well compared to a lot of their other stuff. Speaking of accessories, my favorite, well, these are not my favorite, but my most worn Flats were these right here. I wear them every single day to work. They are just plain black flats, ballet slippers, and they have a little cushion thingy on the inside, which is great because my feet start to hurt. And it's just like a fake kind of leather and snake skin or some kind of skin. I don't know. It's some animal 
printy thingamabobber kind of print and I mean they look cute and because I usually wear plain black flats and this was an upgrade from that because they're not just plain. I wanted a little something going on but still keep it just plain if that makes sense. And my most worn boots for like the past two to three years actually are probably these. These I got from Forever 21. They're flat. I wear them everywhere. I love the zipper detail on the back. They are breaking apart on me. The boot in the front is disgusting. It's just like scuffed up and torn up, but I am not letting these go. I'm going to keep them until like they just fall apart. They're so worn in and comfortable. I love these boots. Like I, I just don't want to replace them. I have lots of other boots, but these are my favorite. And I don't care how gross or whatever they look like on the front. They look like chewed up and everything, but I love these boots and I'm going to keep wearing them. And they were actually from Forever 21. And when I worked there, I wore these a ton too because they were flat boots and I could wear them around every day without my feet hurting because a lot of other boots make my feet hurt. These are just awesome. I love them. And for a dressier alternative, these were the other boots that I wore the most. My friends actually gave my friend, Olga, she gave these to me because they didn't fit her. And surprise, surprise, all my shoes are black. <laughs> but these are more dressy you know they have a big old heel they're a little hard to walk in I have to walk so slow with them I'm always like hold on hold on I'll get there I'm not used to wearing heels anymore I used to wear them all the time but I'm not good at balancing myself on heels anymore but and my favorite heels which I don't have here and I don't feel like getting it because I forgot to add it to this pile they're just my black Steve Maddens I love them they go with everything and they look really nice and they're built very well too. Now finally on to beauty products. Um, my most worn foundation, liquid foundation, was actually Revlon Photo Ready. And not a lot of YouTube beauty gurus wear this or like it or anything with this. My shade is medium beige and I love the finish of this. I think it's beautiful. I don't know. I always like this one for like a nice look. I I just like this foundation and it was my most worn for the winter it's a really good coverage too and my most worn eye shadow palette is this Lorac one right here I just recently made I actually bought this this winter and I just made a blog post about it before I tried it out and all that and it's so pigmented and Lorac is awesome I just love this it came in actually in like a travel size kit but everything in the travel kit was full size which is awesome all her kits are full size. I like that. <laughs> My most worn bronzer is this Cheapo from Jane. I'm just trying to finish this really. And I hit pan on it, which I am happy about because I'm about to go. Not about to. This will take me a pretty long while to finish this. Sorry for the glare right there. But, um... It works okay. It's not my favorite. I probably would not buy it again, but... Who knows? I mean, I haven't tried too many bronzers because I just have maybe two or three and then I'll try them out, go through them, and I don't feel like it's a necessary for me to get more, even though I have more. I just, I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. I just wore it all the time, like almost every day, though, during the winter. My two favorite lip products are, well... They're not my favorites, but I wore them all throughout winter, so they're winter favorites. Um, is this chapstick-ish thing? I don't know. It's a lip color. It applies like a lip balm, like one of those um, Revlon, I don't know, those balmy things that are out everywhere. Every brand has some of them now. It's in 215 Hibiscus Hibiscus, and this is by, I think it's by CoverGirl. Because Taylor Swift does commercials for CoverGirl, right? I don't know. But I only have a little bit left. Well, that's a little bit for me. Comparing, considering how much I used it. Um, I used it a lot. I use this like every day. If I need a pop of color just to leave and I want my lips to be very moisturized, I just go for this. Like I don't have to apply lip balm or anything else. This is just right for me. And I actually have it on today on top of my... Um, 
I mean, I have it underneath my lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss for the winter. It's Moisture Renew SPF 15, so you know, it's dry, it's winter time. And this is in the color, I don't know what color it is. But it's like a really bright kind of fuchsia pink and it's from Rimmel. I really like this though. And it has collagen and vitamins. Oh my goodness. Anyway, it works really good. And I have it on top of this like chapstick tinted thingy-mabobber. It works really good. Okay, I had to go and get this. I was too lazy to get my shoe from right there. But I had to go and get this. I love this. I discovered this this winter. It's the Lorac 3D Luster and it's the bomb diggity. It is so pretty. I have it on my eyes right now. Just on top of Urban Decay's um, Sin uh, Primer Potion. It's so pretty. All it is, is just sparkle. And I use one drop for both my eyes. Let me see. Okay. Oh, I hope I don't drop it. Okay. And I don't know if this is going to catch up on camera, like how gorgeous that is. In person, under lighting, it looks incredible. It looks incredible. Like I would not, oh, I don't know. It's my favorite, like favorite makeup product period of the winter time. Whether it's for eyes or lips or whatever, that is my favorite this winter. And moving on to nails, uh, my favorite nail products, of course, were um, Nail Envy and Sally Hansen. It's just a cuticle oil. I use these a lot throughout the winters. I stop biting my nails, and I don't need it to grow fast anymore. They grow just fine. I need it to stay the length now, and I don't want them to grow too fast, so I don't use that nail tech growth formula thing anymore. But these two I still use all the time, and I love them. And my most worn nail polishes were Sally Hensel, Hensen's, Hansen's Gem Crush in Big Money. I actually use this a lot for French tips. Like I would have just clear nails and the tips would be all Frenchified or something or I would have it on my ring finger nail and I don't know, it's just so beautiful. It's gold with silver. Uh, silver it's gold with purple sparkles in it and it's very very with one coat you'll get like a complete coverage it's really good and my other favorite nail polish this winter was Caitlyn by Zoya and it's like that dusky purple and it's like the same um it's about the same color as woo! <laughs> and it's about the same color as my favorite sweater that I wore all winter long. I just love this color and it looks really good against my skin tone. I feel like it does. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't care. I like this color and I wore it a lot. And that's it. Those are my winter favorites besides coffee. And I actually quit drinking coffee last week. I'm trying to wean off of coffee because I be drinking way too much coffee and I don't need it. I don't. Like I'm okay. I get just enough energy like just by eating an apple. Did you know just eating an apple gives you as much energy as a cup of coffee in the morning? Did you know that? Okay. Try it because it works for me and um trying to wean off the coffee and get into tea but the salted caramel mocha from Starbucks was my favorite all winter and uh, V8 Splash I be drinking that every day I love I love it I don't know I have this friend named Preeti she's like my best friend and she drinks it all the time all the time like wherever we go for a walk to the mall anywhere she's always like yeah man I'm just chilling with my, with my little V8 I'm like ew I don't like it didn't taste good to me it didn't look good to me but I'm addicted to that stuff and I like the really spicy version of it with like the hot sauce in it it's really tasty I like that and then they have a lime version and that's really good too I like everything else a lot more than the original but I drink the original the most because that's the easiest one I can find everywhere but anyway that's I'm, I just started rambling on about like V8 splash it's kind of weird um, yeah, so those are my winter favorites. Let me know what your winter favorites were, what your most worn like makeup or shoes or boots or anything was, and I will take a look at them and I will Whoa. Sorry.
somebody upstairs like fell or something. That was a loud ass noise. <laughs> I never. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later with my next video. And I love you guys. Bye. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Bye.